Happy Friday, friends. You guys, I have some recommendations and suggestions for those of you who have cats and love them like me. Um, all right, so I've been buying all the things since last Wednesday. We had some kind of weird incident. I don't know what happened. Our cats totally get along. We've never had any kind of aggression, nothing. Totally pretty chill. I mean, Manny doesn't like Montana, but that has nothing to do with the other cats. So if you have that for us and he's attacked you, I promise he's really a nice cat. He's just his triple warmers all up in arms. But anyway, so we had an incident happen last Wednesday. Um, cats were on the window ledge and there was a neighborhood cat that came into the yard and I don't know what happened. I don't know if that cat's in heat or what, but our cat, Augie, who you all know and love, Augie's super sweet. He freaked out, completely lost his stuff. Wasn't just like normal growling. I mean, it was like scary, feral cat screaming and it continued. Really weird, I don't know. So um, I reached out to one of my veterinarian friends. I know, I know how you guys hate that. So I was super appreciative that she was willing to chat with me because we're remote. Like I have a vet appointment for next Tuesday <laughs> and I'm gonna have to drive an hour and 45 minutes to get there. But anyway, so she recommended cat pheromones, which I didn't even know was a thing. Apparently it is. There is a brand called Feel Away. They have a diffuser. They used to have um, a collar, which I can't find anywhere. I think maybe they just discontinued it. And then today I got their travel spray. I didn't realize I was getting a teeny tiny pocket size spray, but whatever. Okay, I'll try it all. I'm the guinea pig for you. So this pheromone stuff, um, it's just like a wall plug-in and it's supposed to like smell to them like mother's milk apparently. I don't know, I'm not a cat. But it seems to be working, it seems to be helping. So if you have more than one cat or you're moving or you're traveling or something is stressing your animal out, like if you're like me, I prefer cats to humans. <laughs> my cats are my friends and it's really distressing when they're unhappy and freaked out. It totally freaks me out. Probably contributing to my my permanent eye twitch these days. Okay, so there is a plug-in. I bought it on Amazon. I also got it at the vet. Um, we have two now, one for upstairs, one for downstairs, because I can't figure out what's happening. I also bought a pheromone collar. You guys, there are so many of them that are scented, which is disgusting. I don't do scented stuff. I don't do scented cat litter. In fact, I don't do regular cat litter at all anymore, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so I bought this other thing. It was lavender scented, which was disgusting because it didn't smell like real lavender. And why would my cat want to smell like lavender? He's not a plant. So I took one for the team. I tried a whole bunch of different ones. I found this one on Amazon. It's a two pack comfort zone, calming pheromone color for cats. It, it like has little snaps. So they say it's a breakaway. I don't really know that it is, but it's better than the other one I had that smelled like trash. Um, but anyway, so I have two cats wearing it. Seems to be helping. I don't know. Okay, so it says helps your cat feel safe, happy, and relaxed while reducing unwanted behaviors. Veterinarian recommended, and I recommend it as well. I got, I ordered this on Amazon, okay? There's a lavender one, a different brand. It's awful. Oh, I can smell it right now. So gross. Okay, so there's that. There's the spray. What else have I purchased? I purchased some hemp oil. <laughs> I purchased some chill out shoes. I uh, we use cat bot flower, like literally all the things. Um, but the pheromones seem to be helping. So we have an, a vet appointment because he's still he's so sweet. He's he still just gets triggered, and I can't figure out what the trigger is. And then he like he's just scared and he's reacting, which we can't handle this. So, anyways, just wanted to share that. I know a lot of you said that you maybe you've recently gotten a kitten and one of your cats is super stressed out or your cat's on antidepressants. I'm not a veterinarian. You should always talk to your vet. Maybe they have an underlying urinary tract thing happening, but you guys, total game changer. Feel away, recommend it, giving it a good Yelp review. Cat litter. So once upon a time on a Sunday in my teeny tiny town, our grocery store closes at, I don't know, one o'clock or something. And I ran out of cat litter bad times. So I was texting all the people that I knew had cats and it was like literally like a drug exchange, like yo, yo, who's holding? Like, I need some, I need some cat litter. Couldn't find any. And Marshall had this brilliant stroke of genius. He was like, why don't we just use the pellets for the pellet stove? So 
You guys, that's what we've been using for two years now. The giant pellets, it's a bag, 40 pound bag. I think it costs like $3. It's just like freaking feline pine. My cats have no issue with it. It doesn't smell, it's not gross. I mean, obviously I dump it every other day because we have a few cats here, we have a herd. Um, but anyways, if you're looking for an alternative to traditional cat litter, regular cat litter, I would do the unscented stuff that's like $15 on a good day for a box. It would last me less than a week. Whereas I can spend $3 and get this massive bag. I can change it every single day if I wanted and not feel bad. So that is your tip of the day, okay? If you have cats and you hate cat litter, you can toilet train them. That's on my list of things to do, you know, along with all the other things. Or you can just look for pellets at your local hardware store. All right, friends, if you have a tip for me, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just planning on taking him to the epic and amazing veterinarians over in Glasgow this next week. And hopefully they'll give us an answer because I'm not sure what's happening. And he's such a good boy. I don't want him to be scared. So doing the energy work, doing all of our pheromone stuff. <laughs> That's Friday, friends. Make it count. <laughs>